what's up guys learning with rich here in this video we are now going to move on to the detailing okay so in this exercise we are going to create a model based electrical riser diagram detail and then we are going to add wirings to our diagram okay so let's get started so what i'm gonna do is I'm going to zoom in here. So as you can see, there's already an elevation here. So I'm going to open this elevation view here. So if you're going to hover your pointer to that uh, triangle uh, view, which is your right uh, elevation. So it says that is elevation power riser 113 is. So I'm going to open this elevation. Okay, so just double click that. And then it will now open your elevation here. So if I'm going back there, so if I click this triangle here, so as you can see, this is the only area that is being uh, controlled by that particular elevation. Okay, so you see, you can control that. And then I want to see the elevation of these two uh, panels here. Okay, so I'm going to open this elevation view, just double click, and then this is now my view. So I'm going to tag this uh, first, this panel so I'm going to select the tag here, tag by category, and then I'm not going to put the leader line. So I'm going to pick that one, and then this one too, and then I just go to modify. Okay, so that's it. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to place views on a sheet. Okay, so to do that, from my uh, project browser, I'm going to look for E101 electrical power riser diagram. So I'm going to open that one, and then this is where I'm going to put the power riser diagram that I would like to create. Okay, so as you can see on the project browser, I have here a couple of elevation for the power riser 113 east and power riser 113 north. Okay, so I'm going to drag first the 113 north to this uh, area here. Drag and drop, and then I'm just going to pick there. And then I'll just click outside. And then same with this uh, 113 east. So my goal here is I want to combine this two um, elevation, the 113 east and 113 north. So I'm going to drag this and then put it just beside here. Then I'm going to align it, something like that. There you go. And then I'll just select here, modify. All right. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, modify the level lines. So let's say, for example, see the level lines here of my 113 north. I want to adjust this level. So let's say up to here. Okay. So to do that, I need to, I need to activate this viewport. So I'm going to select this viewport and then just click activate view. Just click that one and then it's now activated. So I'm going to click this level here and then you see that dot there, that blue dot. You can hold your left click and then you can drag that somewhere here. Something like that. Okay. And then I'll just select here modify. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to right click at the blank space. I'm going to deactivate the view. And there you go. Okay, now for this one, because I'm trying to combine these two elevations that I have here, so I'm going to click this um, elevation here. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to select properties. I want to hide that title. I want to hide the Power Riser 113 is title. Okay, so I'm going to. Uh, select that that title and then click from the type selector then just select no title and there you go so there's no title anymore on that one okay now for the north view so let me just change this one okay i want to change the name of this so i'm going to select this one and then i'm gonna change this one just click that and then let us change that to um, electrical power riser diagram enter there you go
Okay, and then now for this uh, viewport here, so I'm going to select this one. I want to hide that level. Okay, since I want this to be combined to this uh, detail view that I'm going to create here in this elevation view. So I want to hide that level one there. So I'm going to activate this viewport. So you click that viewport, right click activate or again you can click the viewport and then just click activate there there you go and then just select that level right click hide in view elements there you have it and then deactivate the view so right click deactivate so don't forget to do that now i'm going to drag this view somewhere here to align okay so i'm going to drag that and then, there, as you can see, there's a dotted line there that that is actually an alignment line. So you can place it somewhere there. Okay, so you can use the arrow on your keyboard if you want to nudge it little by little. Right? There you go. Okay. Now, after that, on next part of the exercise, we're going to use detail lines to create wiring for the one line electrical riser diagram and then we're go uh, we are also going to create a detail group and annotate the diagram okay so let's create a line type first okay so to do that to create a line type i'm going to select the manage tab and then let's look for additional settings and then let's look for line styles. So you click the line styles and then you can expand this category here. And then you can create a new subcategory. So let's create a new one. So click new. And then let's say for the name, I want to create a style for electrical power. And of course, the subcategory is line. So I'm going to select your OK. Oops, I think there's already electrical power here so let me just cancel this one first where is that okay all right so this one so i'm going to delete that so i want to show you how to create okay so i i already deleted to, to create a new one just select new just put the name so again i call that electrical power subcategory of line so okay there you go now i'm gonna change here the Line projection, okay, so the thickness, so I'm going to change that to 6. So I want that thickness, 6. Okay, and then, of course, for the color, it's up to you. You can change the color, and then you can also change here the line pattern if you want. But in my case, I'm just going to use a solid, uh, solid line, black, and then the line weight is 6. So I'm now going to select your OK. So it's not that difficult to create a new line style. So just select OK, and there you go. Now, we're going to draw line work to create wiring diagram. OK? Right. So to do that, so let us now create. So let's go to the annotate. And then let's look for a detail line. Or you can also type DL. So select detail line. And then from the line style here, so you can change that to electrical power. Why is it there's one? Okay. Why is it there's one? So let me just go back again to manage <clears throat> line style. Where is that? Did I put one there? Oh, okay. So let me just uh, rename that one. Why did I put one there? There you go. Then okay. All right. Okay, so let's draw line work to create our wiring diagram. So let's go to annotate, select detail line. Okay, and then let's change the line style here. So let's look for the uh, electrical power. And then I'm going to make sure that the chain here is selected so that we can create a chain of lines. Because if the chain here is unchecked, you are creating line uh, one by one. It means when you click your second point, your detail line will terminate and then you need to pick another two points again to create your line. But if it is chain, you can create continuous lines. You can pick 
uh, multiple times to create chain of lines. Alright? Now, so let's say I'm going to use the line tool here. Again, chain, electrical power. So what I want to do is, so beginning at the transformer, so we have a transformer here. So I'm going to draw a line, maybe somewhere here, to represent the wiring to the switchboard. So I'm going to pick somewhere here. <clears throat> this is just a diagram, so don't worry if, if that is not the exact location of the line. Anyway, you can still modify that later on. Okay? Right? So after you create that line, so the next thing that you can do is you can now escape. Okay? Just escape once so that the detail line will not going to be terminated. Okay, so using the same method, I'm going to add lines to represent the wiring between the switchboard and a panel on the level 3. So from the switchboard here, so I'm going to just pick somewhere here. And then I'm going to pick here. It should be on level 3. There you go. Pick here. I'm going to pick another point here and pick there. And then again, escape. Don't worry. You can select modify. You can click that line and then you can just drag that. Okay. It's just a diagram. Okay, there you go. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to... Uh, how about let me show you how to offset so I want to offset this line here to the right side Okay, so to do that, let's go to the modify. So there's an offset here. So let's click that one And then you just need to specify an offset distance here So let's say for the offset distance. I want this to be uh, one eighth of an inch There you go, and then I can now Pick this side here. It's just like offset in AutoCAD. So I'm going to click to the right. And then I'm going to pick another line here. Create it above. Right. And then after that, so maybe I'm going to uh, select modify to terminate it. And then I'm going to select this line. Right click. So let's use create similar. And then maybe I'm going to click another line here and then connect it here. There you go. Modify. And then we can use here trim extent corner. Let's pick the two sides that you want to remain. And there you go. Okay. Right. So let's continue adding our... Uh, detail line. So let's click the electrical line here. Right click, create similar. So let's say again, chain. So I want to connect this one here, this one, this one to here. Escape once. So let's continue. Let's create one here. Okay, let's put one here. Escape one so that it will not totally terminate the tool. Let's click one here. Then let's click here. Then for this one, I want to create three lines here. One, and then I'm going to select this, copy. Maybe like that. I'll select that again. Copy. Let's use this as the base point. There you go. And then for this one, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, oops, click, hold control, click, click. We are going to use mirror. So I'm, I'm trying to, uh, to show you some tricks or tools for you to be able to create your uh, detail line. Okay, and then you can use the arrow on the keyboard so you can drag that and then you can uh, escape again, select the line, you can move it up there. There you go. Okay, so now I want to copy these lines that I have here. So click, hold control.
select this lines okay so i'm going to copy that and let me just move it here there you go and then escape once so that your elements are still selected and then we can now use the arrow on our keyboard there you go Until, so I also want to do some connections here so let's click one line right click create similar you get the idea click 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 here escape once let's click here click 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 escape once click 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 escape once so let's click here click escape once and maybe I'm going to click this hold control select the other two vertical lines and then I'm gonna copy that this is my base point and I'm gonna place it here oh not there sorry should be here there you go escape All right so let me just delete this delete delete oh sorry move should be here there you go and then select right click create similar I click click I'm gonna put it here there you go almost there okay all right so now the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm going to add a break symbol and note so to create the break symbol and text note once okay so we are going to create the, I mean, you create the break symbol and text note once and then copy them to multiple locations in our uh, diagram. Okay. Okay. So let me just zoom in to this, to this area here. Where is my empty? Okay. So here. Okay. You see this one here? I'm going to, maybe I'm going to drag this up. okay and then i'm going to create an arc okay so i'm going to create an arc to create an arc so you click again your detail line right click create similar and then let's use this arc here start and reduce so let's click that one so maybe i'm going to pick here one two click and then modify there we go and then i'm going to put a text here so let's click the text okay so i'm going to use 3 over 32 inch aerial so i'm going to pick make sure no leader is selected so let's pick here so i'm going to type oops c mechanical connection schedule not okay okay zoom out then just click outside select modify and then just select that text click that blue node so just like that and i'm gonna select your align center and middle align then i'm gonna move it here click that there we go okay and then after that i'm just going to copy this so i'm going to select the text hold control and then let's select the arc that's the one and then we are going to copy that so copy make sure multiple lines is checked so i'm going to pick this base point here so click that 
and we are now ready to copy it here and copy it here and then just select here modify okay and then let's create a ground wire okay so you use three detail lines to create a ground wire symbol okay so you enter exact values for each line length okay so again we're going to create a uh, detail line here okay so let's say for example uh, I want to add it here so I'm going to select the detail line so click detail line or you can type DL for detail line right click create similar okay so I'm gonna pick just here just beside pick and move to the right so let's say the distance is uh, zero oops sorry sorry so detail line DL so you pick the first point you drag that to the other to the right side and then you type zero space 0.5 okay or 0 0.5 enter there you go and then just select here modify okay and then I'm going to how about I'm going to offset this one okay so let's offset this so I'm going to offset that so let's go to the modify lines offset okay so for the offset distance here I'm going to make this uh, 3 over 32 inch then let me just offset it here below another one here below and then select modify okay and then let me just select this line here let's change the distance so we can type Z, uh, zero feet space uh, 0 0.25 inch enter there you go so it's one fourth inch so the third one so let's select that one click the temporary dimension and then zero feet space 0 0.125 inch enter there you go and then just select your modify okay so now the next thing that I'm gonna do is we're going to create a detail group okay so by grouping the lines that represent the ground wire you can ensure that they stay together so that you do not move accidentally one of the lines or accidentally resize one of the lines like that so we are going to group it okay so to group your your detail lines so what you can do is um, just select your detail lines and then after that you can see create panel here so there's your create group so select that one and then you can put the name here so you can call that so let's say that's my uh, ground oops and then I'll just select here okay oops I think it's already created back in this exercise when I did this exercise before so let me just cancel this one so for you to be able to delete that group so you can go to the project browser and then look for the groups on the project browser you expand that that's the one that I'm talking about so it's already created so as you can see I already have multiple ex uh, groups here so let me just delete it here so every time you group your detail elements it will be added here so group detail okay so let me just right click that I wonder if I can oh okay I the reason why it's undeletable because I think it's already added in the in, inside the project so what I'm gonna do is um, okay so let me just create an, another one so let me just select this one um, create group so I'll just gonna call this group uh okay. ground two and then i'll just select here okay so there you go so there's my ground two and they are now group so that you will not be able to move it um accidentally all right 
So let's try to put it here. So let's create a detail line. You can type TL. So I can pick one line here and then I'm going to pick here, select modify, and then I can click that one. And then I can move, pick the midpoint, and then put it there. Okay. So let me just select that there and then move down like that. Okay, and then I'm going to copy that to put to other transformer. So I'm going to select this, hold control, select the line, and then I select uh, copy. Make sure multiple is checked. Pick the base point, and I'm going to put one here. Somewhere here. There you go. And then I'm going to put again on the transformer somewhere here. And then somewhere here. Okay. Right. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pin the wires and then the view. Okay. So we're going to pin that. So I'm going to select the viewport or maybe I'm just going to use a window selection like this so that I can select all the viewports and also the lines that I have created just like that. And then I'm going to pin it so that we do not accidentally move it. Pin that. There you go. And then just select modify. And there you have it. So you just created your uh, model-based electrical riser diagram with wirings. Okay? So it really takes some time for me to be able to do it because I'm trying to explain it while I'm doing it. But basically, if you're just going to do it yourself, it's very simple. It will not take a lot of time. Okay? Okay? Because it's just 2D drawing. Okay? But it's a model base. We generated our di diagram from the real 3D model from our panel. And then we created a uh, elevation view to put some 2D elements. And it's already pinned so that you do not move it accidentally. So that's the best practice to do it. Okay? So hopefully you learned something from this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.